Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel again. Today we will be talking about Emkto, we will be talking about womanism, and we will be talking about radical people. Now before we get started, I wanted to read a comment from one of my latest videos, because I'd like from time to time to read what you guys think, to keep in touch with you. We have this gentleman here, and he says, Dating? No, there's nothing in it for me. I just bought my third investment property, and I've got too much to lose. No thanks, I'm not on the dating market anymore. So, props to you, my friend, for that property investment. Um, since we're going to be talking about MTO, that is exactly what I think MTO is. Uh, it's men who don't find anything appealing in the dating market. Or even if they found something appealing, they don't want to risk um, their sanity for it. So... With that being said, guys, uh, let's go to a, a Reddit story, because today we will start with the Reddit story and then we'll move on to the actual TikTok that we'll cover. Okay, so this subreddit is called Ask Feminists. Guys, have you ever went through a bad period in life or faced a problem you don't know how to resolve? and wanted to know a woman's take on it, but you couldn't find one. Well, fear no more, because in this subreddit you can find the answers to life, death, and everything in between. So, let's start reading. The title says, Why do you think Emkto types think that men... Excuse me, let me just hide my character. Why do you think Emkto types think that men are the ones opting out of dating and marriage, while women are having a problem with it? And is the complete opposite. Let's see what the take is on. Because they're not talking to any actual woman. LOL. Yeah, we have <laughs> first comment is the I sell shaming comment. You're going to fire me? Well, uh, I'm quitting anyway. We have another comment here. Because they don't live in the same reality as we do. Seriously, they don't. Emkto and alike is similar to canon when it comes to this. They lose the contact to the real world fast. Okay. Let's actually read a little bit of this long comment. I think the fallacy you're pointing to has its roots in the erroneous idea that resentfully declaring you're opting out of intimate or romantic relationships is some form of protest and punishment towards people who don't know you but will somehow unconsciously feel anyway as a result of your absence from the dating market. Like, okay, Dan, you don't want to date? Why should I care about that, though, exactly? Okay, guys, so... I think... I think woman has got it all wrong. Uh... <laughs> Emto is not about that. And, you know, to make my point, I will give you an example. Imagine, guys, I go to a restaurant to have dinner, I order, I eat, and in the end, I don't like the meal. It's either too expensive or just not tasty, not well cooked. So, what do I do? I would pay for my dinner, I would get up and I would leave, and never come back, because there are better places to have dinner. That exactly is what Emkto is about. It's men who have seen the dating world, they don't like it, and they opt out of it. They just choose better things to do. It's not about throwing the dish on the floor and breaking it while yelling, I will never ever step here again, you just lost a customer. It's not about leaving infuriated, so the owners of the restaurant feel guilty and go begging you to come back. It's none of that. It's, I don't like the trade-off, I don't think it's worth it, so I'm moving on to something else. And that is what almost all MCTO men have gone through. They have either been dating or trying to find a good partner and they have seen it's extremely hard or they have been played by a woman or taken through the divorce courts or lost a lot of material wealth or lost their kids or to sum up everything just lost their mental well-being and their inner peace and they have thought about the pros and cons of dating and they've said you know what it's not worth it it's extremely hard to find a good partner it's a headache and even if it's possible, it still is too much of a risk. So I don't want to deal with that. You know, as Taylor likes to say, the squeeze is not worth the juice. And 
that's what the name itself says, men going their own way. You know, finding a different way, deciding to focus on hobbies, or on work, or on family and friends, or whatever. It's not about, you are firing me, so I'm quitting anyway. It's not a protest, it's not a punishment towards anyone. Men just don't care what happens to the dating world, because they're not a part of it anymore. And let me tell you, I wholeheartedly believe that most gentlemen from Emkto would love to date a woman, they would love to have a life partner, to share their aspirations, to marry, to have kids, to be chivalrous, to be committed. They would love to, in an ideal scenario, but the reality is most women nowadays are not dating material, and you can thank womanism for that, for supporting hookup culture, for saying that a high body count is empowering, for leveling up the standards for men to be near impossible to achieve, and for ruining it all for the good ladies who were actually serious. So now, men are saying no thanks, I'll pass on the dating thing, because even if I happen to meet someone good, it's still risky. And for women, it's risky too, of course, to pick a good guy who can later on cheat on her, or dump her, or turn to be an a-hole, but the fact of the matter is, it's men who lose their kids in courts, for the most part. It's men who lose material wealth in courts, and not women. So it's always the short straw for men. But enough about that, guys. Let's go to watch today's TikTok. This is part two of why men on Reddit have such a bad reputation. Today we're going to be looking at MGTOW, which was recently banned. MGTOW stands for Men Going Their Own Way, and the original intention of the subreddit was to encourage men that they didn't need a woman to have a fulfilling life. Now you might be saying, that doesn't sound so bad, and I would agree, the original intention is not in and of itself a bad thing, but it quickly got corrupted and infiltrated by misogynistic men. In fact, on the rest of the website, MGTOW stood for Men Getting Triggered Over Women. This subreddit and its users were known for hating on women at every possible chance they could get. This subreddit was known to radicalize young men into misogyny and even cases of extreme violence. In fact, the officially listed reason that this subreddit was quarantined in January 2020 is because a U.S. Coast Guard officer was planning a major act of domestic terrorism to get rid of the Jews and visited MGTOW thousands of times. The FBI even investigated this subreddit. So you're arguing that some guy was planning on doing a major act of violence because he had visited MGTO 2000 times. And if you read down below, it's in the span of two years, which is not that much. Well, I'm more certain he could also have visited Burger King a thousand times, you know, for that matter. Are they also to blame for this? There is no correlation between one thing and another. If you're willing to say that Emto promotes massive violence, you're wrong, because it doesn't. And yes, he's a radical, you know, that, that guy, but that doesn't mean that the Emto community radicalized him. And we will get to develop that later. Let's keep watching for now. You can pause to read, but I'm going to read one part to you. This means that an FBI-employed, court-recognized expert found MGTOW to be a hate group, promoting discrimination of women and hatred towards women. For this next... Do you know why I couldn't give a single crap about what this quote-unquote expert thinks and what he states? Because this argument that Emto hates women has been thrown around for literally everything and anything. If you don't want to deal with women, you hate them. If you're not okay with the judicial disadvantages men have, you hate women. If you think womanism has ruined dating, you hate women. If you think womanism is bad, you hate women. I mean, a few days ago I did a video titled People Should Feel Compassion About My Body Count in which we covered the channel of a woman who defends ideologically Emto, and she mentioned how she got banned on TikTok and was demonetized on YouTube. Why? Well, guys, of course, because she hates women. And we have seen this happen with so many people who are red-pilled or speak against the mob. No matter how respectful you are, or the fact that you are just speaking your mind to a group of people who agree with you, you're still under threat of being banned, under the presumption that you're spreading hate. Emkto is not a hate group, 
and it doesn't promote discrimination nor violence. Like guys, most of you are here because, because you follow Taylor. Can you show me one video in which Taylor promotes discrimination or hatred? I've watched many Red Pill channels and never have I seen in any video or text format someone promoting those things. Let's keep watching. Next part, I'm going to give you a trigger warning because I am going to show you some examples of posts on this subreddit. So this is your warning. If you don't want to see this, click away. Here's the first part of the list. Please. So if you're interested, you can pause and read. I'm not going to cover them because they're not PG. Feel free to pause and read them at your own leisure. Here is the second part of the list. Again, please feel free to stop and read them. And here's the last little bit of that list. As you may have seen at the bottom of that last screenshot, they did not reserve their hate for women alone. They were known to be racist, anti-Semitic, transphobic, homophobic, pretty much all of the terrible things you can be. Specifically though, they were very racist towards black people, calling black men a name that I am not going to say, um, and they sexually fetishized black men, specifically in relationships with white women. You may be thinking that I am just biased or, I don't know, wrong in general. However, I would like you to keep in mind that there are several academic studies done on not only MGTOW, but the Reddit manosphere in general and how toxic it can be towards women. So now that they're banned, we're all good, right? <laughs> no. If you know anything about how Reddit works, the people that were affected by this ban have just moved to different subreddits. In my next part of this series... Yeah guys, the threat is not gone. The threat is there. The Emto movement is lurking like a shark. <laughs> Ready to bite their next victim. Now guys, jokes aside, I'll say this. Let me put on some gameplay actually. I agree with her on one thing, and that is that, yes, there are radical people in Emto. However... I disagree that Emto is radical by itself, because here comes the kicker. Every group has radical people in it. Every religion on planet Earth has radical zealots. Every political group has radicals. Every community, every social group. Because in the end, you can't run a 200 question psychological test to determine if a person will be accepted in the community. People just join movements or groups and they bring their radicalism along with them. I remember I used to follow an Instagram meme page and the admin decided to create a WhatsApp group for people to talk or share memes there. And I joined and the gallery was scrolling with animal abuse videos and inappropriate adult movie, movie videos, I'll say. And of course, the people that sent... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Of course, the people that sent those things were only the small noisy minority, but it's the first thing you saw when you entered the chat. So even in a damn meme page, you have radicals. You can create a community based on sharing cute kitty and puppy pictures, and you'll still get radicals there. As mentioned before, I've never witnessed any MCTO channel promoting hate. What I have seen, however, are womanists promoting hate and inequality. And here is a video of a guy uh, I much respect talking about it. I'll hide my character. In 2005, Swedish politician and co-founder of feminist initiative Gudrun Scheinman proposed what the media called a man tax, which would have raised taxes for men in Sweden, basing it on the idea that all men should be held accountable for all man-on-woman violence. It should be noted that Scheinman was convicted of tax evasion in 2004, a year before making this proposal. In 2010, women's group leaders in Israel have unanimously opposed changes to rape laws that would make it possible for women to be convicted of rape. They succeeded, and now women in Israel who commit sex acts on non-consenting adults or children who are not old enough to legally give informed consent are not actually charged with rape, and are instead charged with lesser crimes. In 2013, Indian feminists successfully pressured the Indian government to rewrite rape laws in such a way that only men could be charged with rape. In 2014, Jessica Valenti published an article in The Guardian advocating paying men less than women. In 2015, York University planned to hold an International Men's Day meant to highlight issues affecting men and boys, such as the high suicide rate, shorter life expectancy, and struggles faced in getting an education. 
It was canceled after feminist students, staff, and alumni protested and held a petition to ban it which received almost 200 signatures. To add insult to injury, Holly Baxter wrote a condescending article on independent.co.uk enlightening readers why we don't need an international men's day. You can claim the definition. Okay guys, so the channel is Dr. Shane, link in the description if you want to check his video. And he said it better than I could ever have. To his list, I will add the Me Too movement, which undermined the presumption of innocence. Uh, womanism also actively promotes generalizing, like saying all men are potential A users, and that we should trust every woman. Notice how the examples of radical attitude given by the woman in the TikTok are individual cases of some messed up in the head guys who posted some crap on the internet. It's not ideas that MTO represents or defends. However, radical womanism cases are not only a bunch of singular individuals. They are of people with political influence or covered by the media or defended by the womanist community and their radical behavior is integrated in their philosophy and backed up by their ideal of justice, which in essence is corrupt. So yeah, they are radicals in the EMCTO community, it's a fact, but they do not represent the ideas of EMCTO, nor are they backed up by the community. And because I don't like to just sit with my, arm, with my arms crossed and say that there's nothing we can do about it, here is my take on it. We can't control radical people, but what we can do is make a change individually. If you are part of the EMCTO but you feel anger, hate or resentment, you should get rid of those bad emotions. First and foremost, because of yourself. I know that a lot of men come to the realization that dating is not worth it because of a bad experience, because they've been played or they've been screwed and manipulated. And I totally understand how that naturally brings feelings of resentment or anger. But as I, as I previously mentioned, if you don't like a restaurant, you get up and leave. You choose a better place and you don't come back. Learn your lessons from previous mistakes, but don't allow the past to live in you. Don't allow bad feelings to be shaping your decisions or your future. The very essence of EMCTO is that men decide to live by themselves. If you are living with the pain from the past, you're doing it wrong. And if a young guy is interested in EMCTO, what will you want him to see when he joins the community? Resentful men coping with the past, or men going their own way, having learned from it? To end the video guys, I just want to say a famous quote. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal, with the intent of throwing it at someone. You are the one who gets burned. So my advice is, first and foremost, don't hold on to anger or resentment, because you are on the losing end. And if someone is wondering why am I talking about this issue, it's because I care for EMCTO. The same advice could be given to womanism, but they already are a lost cause. They have harmed their own movement so much that it's become a meme already, and no sane person takes it seriously. I think the red pill is something great to spread awareness, to help men navigate in life. And if I'm giving any suggestions, it's not because I'm perfect or because I think the community is going downhill. It is because I've gone through that, and because I want to see the community to continue going uphill. With that being said guys, thank you for watching, let me know down in the comments your opinion, and I will see you next time.